Hi, this is Rhiannon from the Contract Express team. This video is going to show you the basic functions of Contract Express for end users. On logging into Contract Express, you will see a screen similar to the one shown. To create documents from an automated template, navigate to the Documents page. Select New Document on the top right hand side. You will see a list of all of the templates you've been given access to. Select the one you want to use. The questionnaire for the chosen template will open. Fill out the questions as required. You can navigate between questionnaire pages using the Save and Continue button, Next and Previous arrows, or the options on the left-hand side of the screen. Some questions, such as the one on screen, may be marked with a red asterisk. This means they are compulsory. You must answer these questions before attempting to move to another questionnaire page. As you fill out the questionnaire, there may be different types of information collected. For instance, text entries, yes-no questions, dates, or a selection from a list of possible answers. The preview button can be helpful as it allows you to see a representation of the output document, including the answers you have given. Selecting a part of the document will take you straight to the relevant part of the questionnaire. When you select a question in the questionnaire, this will also highlight the relevant section in the previewed document. This allows you to see how your answers affect the final output. Where a question affects the output in more than one place, you can cycle between them using the arrows at the top. To close preview, simply click the Hide Preview button. As you navigate through the questionnaire, some questions may have guidance which appears underneath to help you answer them. Once you're done, select Save and Close from the top right or from the bottom of the page. This saves your progress, bringing up the generated document page. You can amend the name of the document by clicking on the pencil at the top. To go back to the questionnaire and edit further, click Edit Questionnaire on the right hand side. Make any amendments as usual and click Save and Close again. If required, you can attach additional files to the generated document page by clicking Attach File. Files attached in this way will appear under the Documents section in addition to any documents generated from the questionnaire. You may wish to share your documents with other users, as by default, documents generated through Contract Express are only available to you and to admins on the site. To do so, click the Only Me button uncheck Inherit Permissions and click Add User. You can select individual users or alternatively share with groups or by user role. The access level determines the actions available to the users you have shared the document with. For more information on this, please see the permissions video. You may wish to send an email to those users, for instance, to let them know that you've given them access to the document. Click on the three dots, then send email. Select the users you wish to receive the email, fill in the subject and body of the email, then click send. The email received will look something like this. Any changes made to the document will appear under the history section at the bottom. If multiple people are working on the same template, you can also add comments via the discussions button. Simply type your comment and click Add. To download the final document, simply click on the link. Depending on the settings that have been applied, you may have access to either a Word document or a PDF. An approval process may also have been set up on the template that you are using. If so, the status will show as requires approval. You will not be able to download the document until approval has been granted. This may be automatic, or you may need to request approval by clicking the Request button. When doing so, you can add comments if needed, which the approver will be able to see. The document status will change to Awaiting Approval. Once the document is complete and any approvals have been granted, the document status will move to Ready. You can now download the final document However, this will usually be a PDF only where there is an approval process in place. From here, you can choose to manually upload a signed document by clicking the Upload button. Once uploaded, the signed document will appear under the Documents list.
Alternatively, if enabled by the admins on your site, you can start the signature process via DocuSign or Adobe Sign. Simply click the button, this will take you to a login page, and you can follow the usual e-signature process to send the contract for signature. When the document has been sent for signature, the document status will change accordingly. Once signed, the status will change to executed, and the signed copy will appear on the documents page in Contract Express. If enabled by site admins, you may also have the option to export to a DMS such as iManage or HiQ. To do so, click the export button, select the documents for export, and select the relevant DMS folder location. Click Save and Export. This will export a copy of the document to the applicable DMS. Once completed, the status will update to exported. If needed for record keeping, you can mark the contract as executed. Once you have created documents, they will appear under the Documents tab. My Documents contains all the documents you have personally created. All documents will contain any documents you have access to, and Shared Documents allows you to access documents which have been shared directly but created by other users. For each view, you will see the status of any documents and also details of who has last modified each document. You can filter by using the Filter button and the Search options as required. To go back to the Document Details page, simply click on the link. You can also organise your documents by creating folders. To do so, click on the three dots, choose New Folder and give it a name. To move documents into a folder, simply select the documents and click Move. Then choose the folder you wish to move them into. You can set sharing permissions for a particular folder by clicking Only Me and editing as required. Note that editing the permissions for a folder will not change the sharing permissions on previously created documents within the folder. However, by clicking into a folder and then selecting New Document, you can create a document which automatically uses the folder sharing permissions. We suggest doing so if you regularly want to share documents with the same group of users.